Hi everyone, I'm Jules, and today I will be showing you a couple of influencing strategies, specifically those of persuasion and reciprocation. Now, there will be times in your career when convincing someone of your way of thinking is just difficult. Simply using your inspirational messaging is not enough, and you might notice that that person isn't even listening to you. Now, this can be because they don't trust you or find you relevant, yet you see them paying attention to what your colleague has to say, and you ask yourself, why are you not getting that same attention? If you're looking at practicing how to be more influential at work, whether it be with your manager or colleagues, this video is just for you. Simply follow the steps next time you need to get your point across at work. So we'll begin at step one. In this stage, you're going to start by assessing the problem you are trying to solve. List the problem statement on a piece of paper to help you focus. You should also keep in mind that when someone comes to you for help, you have a greater chance of influencing them to your way of thinking because they are requesting your point of view. But in many cases, you are the one that brings up the topic, so it's important to understand what you want to solve. Now, let us demonstrate this through an example. Let's say you want to convince your manager that the way your company deals with drawing revisions needs to be revised. He likes to approve everything, but he is not readily accessible because he is always booked in meetings. The factory supervisor is frustrated because he is always waiting on the revised drawings, yet your manager does not want to let go of his control. You've tried to tell your manager about this and show him all the emails sent filled with frustration, yet he does not want to change the way things are being done. Now, your problem statement is to get your manager to understand the repercussions when revisions are not sent in a timely manner. This leads us to the second step. And here, you need to focus on the person you are targeting to influence. It is essential to know who you are dealing with. Knowing them means you understand what is important to them, their values, and what they believe in. This way, you can approach them with examples or anecdotes they can associate with. Make it a point of learning more about the person before using the skills to have a bigger impact. Now, below your problem statement, start listing what you know about your manager. Answer questions such as, what do they believe in? Why are they not wanting to change? When you saw them agree to things in the past, do you know why they did so? Now, once you've answered those questions to the best of your abilities, you can now move to step three. In this step, your role is to now choose the best influencing strategy to use. In this video, we will be focusing on two, those being persuasion and reciprocation. Let's take the example and simulate how they would be used. So let's start with persuasion. Persuasion itself is the art of convincing someone using facts, logic, and common sense. You can use show and tell to help them see your point visually or use stories to help them visualize and better understand the idea. Keep in mind, if you know the person you want to influence, you are able to cater the storytelling and common sense to suit their interests. Now, at this point, you're going to go back to step two, where you have a list of things you know about your manager. You can either formulate a persuasion response based on the list or go through the extra step of listing some possible persuasion responses for each of the descriptions. If you do this extra step, it will look something like the table on your screen. Now, to summarize, based on the suggested persuasion reasoning in the table, you can approach the manager as follows. Start by collecting data on what is happening. Facts are important to prove your point. Having a graphical view on the last couple of months showing the average turnaround time with its trends is effective. Next, you'll want to show any emails of frustration from the factory supervisor. 
Explain to your manager that others are taking steps to put together a metric to show that our group is impacting the on-time delivery cycle. Then finish your pitch by telling him that the team is behind him and want to know how to fix this before it escalates to upper management. The team have thought of changing the process, which he is not in favor of doing. Then consider setting up daily debriefing sessions of 15 to 30 minutes where he reviews every open revision. Perhaps even throw in the possibility of having him spend more time on important meetings and give up approving some of these simpler revisions. This can be achieved by coming up with a checklist of items the manager looks for during his review process. Then the team members can conduct their review. Your second option would be that of reciprocation. And reciprocation is the art of using a tit for a tat to get what you want. This is tied to the well-known anecdote, you scratch my back, I scratch your back, or what's in it for me? You basically need to give something to get something. We actually learned this form of influential strategy when we're very young. Examples like our parents giving us a weekly allowance for cleaning our room or taking out the garbage. Or if they told you that you can go play on your iPad after you finish your homework, then they were simply using this form of influencing skill over you. Now, using reciprocation in the aforementioned example may prove to be difficult. You need to find what to bargain with that does not include going on strike or threatening him. Just as we did in Persuasion, you will use the list of descriptions to come up with your plan. Using this example, you approach your manager to inform him of what you heard, that the factory supervisor has had enough of the delays in the drawing revisions. So the supervisor is putting together a new metric showing how our team impacts the delays. This is going to be shown to upper management in the upcoming review. You're giving him a heads up, essentially. Now, when your manager gets upset or anxious, you tell him that you are willing to act as the messenger, that you will tell the supervisor that your manager has decided to modify the revision process in order to speed it up. Perhaps throw out some suggestions, like having him approve anything in the pipeline at the same time every day or training his people so something does not need his approval.